everybody. Welcome to another edition of E to the 3. Sensei Jerry Valido here at the Valido Stronghold. We haven't put out a video in a while, but uh, we're coming back to you today with some uh, really cool stuff. Uh, here with me is my good friend and student, Mr. Joel Friedman. And um, what we want to show you today uh, is something that is basically the fruit of uh, a hobby that Joel started to do a couple months ago. He started making things that are called monkey fists and um, essentially uh, they've turned into not only something that you can use you know practically on a day-to-day -day basis but something that is actually a really cool uh, self-defense tool so uh, Joel you want to talk about really quickly um, how you kind of came up with the idea of doing these all right well a few months back we had a uh, visitor do a quick seminar on a different form of martial arts and at the end of the day when he was leaving he had showed us a monkey fist cord that he had. I became interested in it and I started looking up on YouTube on how to make them because I do things like that and then uh, I started thinking that these would be kind of cool as maybe keychains so I, I came up with these, I just started looking online with YouTube again and how to do different types of uh, knotting. So the monkey fist, as, as we looked up, monkey fist is named based on the, the pattern or the look of the knot. It looks like a, a fist. You've got the fingers there. And because it's small, like a monkey's hand, it looks like a monkey's fist. Uh, this is the smallest one I have that has a marble in it. And the largest one that we have here has a golf ball in it and it has uh, eight strands on it and the tighter the uh, the cords are the, the nicer it looks so I've got a, a more um, sturdy keychain here that has uh, more knots on it so it's got a more stable or rigid uh, band or arm there uh, I have different lengths for like a handle as it were the arm is different length different types of knots for the monkey fists there. This one is the more fluid, loose arm as it were, because it's just the cord. You don't need to actually have a monkey fist if you're just using this as a, as a distraction type of tool. This works as a whip as well. Comes across the eyes. Definitely something that can distract an attacker as it were. Come across the eyes just so you, the person can get away. And it makes a little whip, whipping sound too. See, it's nice. As you can see with Sensei's, he's got um, all his keys on there, so if he holds the monkey fist, he can reach out with his keys to do a, a lot more damage. I thought about that um, when I saw him do it a while ago, and I made a handle out of paracord, but the cord looks like a, a snake's belly, as it were, so I think they call that the, the snake knot there. But it's a handle, whether I have it to all four or just three, but if I'm reaching, if a lady is reaching into a purse, she can grab that and then surprise, there it is, the keys across the face, eyes, and she can run like the Dickens. You know, the, the creativity that this guy has uh, as he's continuing to uh, make these different uh, uh, monkey fists and, and variations thereof is, um, is really something cool to watch, his, his progression. And as he said, you know, um, he gave this to me as a, as a gift. And, uh, you know, I, I readily attached it to my keychain and, and, you know, it goes everywhere I do now. And um, as he was saying, you know, when it's in this configuration, you not only have, so this is a marble in here, you not only have something that can, you know, be a really good stunner on one end, uh, but you have the whipping action and the, the uh, distraction striking that the keys and whatever you have on the other end of your, you know, your keychain here provide. So um, in future videos we will be coming out with um, uh, how-to videos and uh, training videos on, on what you can do with these uh, monkey fists and even you know something like this or you can just call them you know paracord keychains you know <laughs> however however you want to address it but uh, it's just you know yet another way to arm yourself in a subtle but effective manner um, and something that is, you know, readily uh, uh, 
accessible and, and you can carry it without drawing a lot of attention to yourself. And so, easily to deploy. It actually, yeah. Yeah, easy to deploy, easy to deploy. If you're carrying this in your pocket, or like you said, a lady's carrying it in her purse, you know, uh, you're going in and making a natural movement, and you're coming out with something like that. For Mr. Joel Friedman and uh, myself, I'm Sensei Jerry Valido with Valido Martial Arts. Thank you for tuning in to another E to the Three. Make it happen.